Frick, this video's good. Bro, I've always loved this video so much. Oh my gosh, I can't breathe. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Orm and I'm a professional music video editor. I've had the pleasure of working with some amazing artists. Some of these include Justin Bieber, Post Malone, Roddy Rich, Tyga, g Easy, Quavo, Kelani, Sway Lee, Megan Thee Stallion, and many, many more. Guys, today was a long day. I've been editing two music videos. We were working on a video for YG and then we were doing a different video for Gucci Mane and I need to get another video out for you. So here I am late at night recording a reaction for you. The patrons have selected the video. <laughs> Boom, mic drop by BTS. If you would like to have a ton of say in the next reactions that I do, go support the channel on Patreon and there you can vote just like this on what the next reaction is going to be. This is one of the first K-pop videos that really got me into K-pop and so I'm so excited for this one. It was directed by Kim Sung Woo and I'm really excited to I'm really excited for this. I'm exhausted from editing today, but here we are back on Music Video Editor Reacts and I'm about to rejuvenate my creative juices by watching an incredible edit. So let's get right to it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yes. It's my boy Steven. Frick. Woo! <laughs> sound is so freaking important. The music is the actual soundtrack for everything that you're seeing in the music video. And when there's no music, the sound is literally 80% of what you're perceiving and how you experience the video. Sound is way more important in my opinion than visuals. We got some footsteps building some tension. And in this scene, they have the problem of, okay, we need to show the room empty and then show BTS in it. And we don't want to just cut them into it. That's kind of weird. So instead, we're gonna have this really quick VHS inverted staticky effect. And to complement that, we're gonna have a little or some kind of sound to emphasize that and to make us really feel that glitch of like the security camera footage. And then we're gonna cut BTS in. So instead of having just a match cut, we do a boom, BTS is there. When I watch this, I'm just like, I love you, BTS. That low frequency. Oh, what is this? Oh, just boom, the song starts. Oh, we love that little foot thing to the record scratch. Hey. Oh, dang. Bro, this is hard. Yeah. Ooh! So here we got the Bang Tang boys. They're just chilling in this interrogation room, which represents them feeling oppressed, feeling scrutinized. We see all these cameras on them, and they're just being interrogated for their fame and for their voices. I feel like these black figures represent haters. It looks like they're holding microphones. As we zoom in through this VFX shot, which is a really sick shot, by the way, we see that the hooded figures were holding microphones that were pointed kind of at BTS, trying to get their opinion and how they're being scrutinized by the media. Yeah. Lots of times I see editors do zoom transitions just because they look cool, but this is not the case here. Here, we have a zoom transition that's motivated because of the choreography. As their hands come out, the editor pulls back the camera with the zoom transition to reveal a new scene. Yeah. Hey, hey. The reason that is good is because it's motivated by the choreography. It's not just a zoom transition just for the sake of a zoom transition. Hey. Just add some jump cuts just to add those two members. Quick invert effect right there. Hey. So we had BTS, they're being interrogated, they're trapped. 
And then the next scene that we cut to is them in a prison block. So they're still using their music and expressing themselves, blocking out the haters, but they still feel imprisoned and entrapped by everyone around them. Hey. And then we have a scene with Suga in the dark room, and he has this image of a picture that he lit on fire. So it's like the media is taking photos of them, there's stuff getting documented all over the place, but he's like, nah man, this stuff doesn't matter. What matters is the music. It's all about what we're bringing to the table, not the way that we look. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Oh. Oh. And if you like Suga, go check out my reaction of Deja Ta right here. One thing that I talk about in that video, it's really good to cut when there's an object that's flashed in front of the camera, like right here. As Suga throws his arms at the camera, we cut to a nice wide scene, and that visual distraction in front of the lens makes the cuts a lot more seamless. Oh my gosh, let's talk about this, bro. So it looks like here they comped a couple different shots together. So they filmed this entire shot and the next two shots completely static. The camera's not moving. And they filmed a super slow motion shot with the boys on wires and they get pulled back. And then they film a normal speed shot of Suga in the foreground rapping. So he's rotoscoped out and put on the front. And then at the end, this is the thing that sells it. We add a little digital zoom in post, which makes it feel like the camera's moving. So it feels like there's a lot of tracking and it's a really complicated shot. But really the camera was static the whole time and it's pretty easy to put the two images together. Ooh. Hey, same lens thing that I was talking about. I freaking love Steve. I love this part of the song, bro. Ooh, that's a sick effect. Let's check this out, y'all. So this shot in particular is really interesting. It looks like we have a normal shot with Jimin leading us of the members dancing. But in addition to that, we have an overlay. Look at this. We have a lot of motion blur over the top. So it looks like they did the exact same shot, but they did it with a very low shutter speed. So there's a lot of moving and like blurry motion over the top of it. And then they throw that motion blur shot on a blend mode and flicker it on and off to the beat and it looks super sick. Oh, that was a sick match cut. Oh. This isn't really editing, but one thing I really like about Director Wu's style here is there's a lot more handheld motion, which creates so much energy in this drop. Hey, hey. That's just some classic, amazing K-pop dancing. From an editing standpoint, this is just how you freaking cut choreography, people. You show the wide shots to show the big movements, and then you cut to close-ups to show the little facial reactions and lots of fun motion just to ramp up the intensity. So we're just cutting wide to close and cutting in between scenes, and it's a freaking party to watch, man. It's simple, but it gets the job done. <laughs> Yes, RM. Ooh. Right here on those quick snare rolls, we have a little effect. And it's super easy to do. You guys can do this anytime. All you do is you take the video clip, duplicate it, put it on the screen blend mode, and then zoom it in a little bit. So it's duplicated, we're zooming in, and we can see the outline of everything right here, and then it just goes away. And then when we do it again right here, we got the outline, and it comes out, and that's it. Really subtle, but really cool to do. Ooh. Oh, we love that little tilt. Talk about that in the Blackpink video. Go check it out. Hey! So the scrutiny on BTS just gets more and more intense as they get more and more free. So early in the video, we had microphones on them, and then we have cameras on them in the photos, and now we have video cameras on them, and there's just so much attention on them that they don't know what to do with it. But they are still experiencing freedom in their music and expressing themselves really well. Hey, 
Ooh. There it is, throwing something at the camera, cutting right there. And also, it looks like we cut back to the hooded figures, but this time, instead of just holding microphones, they're kind of almost vibing to the music. So it's like the haters, you know, they don't hate it anymore. Hey! Did the haters just disappear, y'all? Oh, I love this shot, bro. We don't need to cut, man. We just keep adding dancers. It gets more intense. No reason to cut. We have all the energy here. Oh my god. Oh my god. He on X Games mode. So in the pre-chorus, we're in this super long shot as we keep adding members and the energy keeps increasing. What we love is that we contrast this really long shot that creates tension during the buildup with a bunch of fast shots right before we hit that chorus. The fast shots are the climax of the video. So we want to save that super busy section for that moment. And we want to make that section feel even more busy by contrasting it with a really long shot. Always create contrast with your shot length to make your video feel way more impactful. And then those really fast cuts are this insane match cut that you probably didn't catch. But look, we tell the whole story with these fast cuts. We start in the interrogation room and then we go to the street where all chaos has broken loose. And in order to blend these shots together, we have invert effects that look like this. So we just flash the invert on and off and boom, we're in a new location. Look at this match. Look how they matched it so perfectly. Boom. It's time for BTS to take over the world and spread the fire. Woo! We love freaking explosions, y'all. Okay, we got bodies. This is my theory. I don't know if it's right. All of these theories that I'm saying could be completely wrong, but this is what I think. So we had the haters in the beginning that were like, interrogating them now they're on fire falling from the sky they were on their high horse being critics and everything and now they have caught fire they've caught the bts fire and they're falling down and spreading that fire and now the haters are becoming army they've caught fire and that's what's happening right here Ooh. Dang, this is such a cool scene, bro. So this is a very VFX heavy scene. I assume they just shot all this on like a white soundstage and added all these elements in through VFX. I've read that some of these vehicles are from different videos that they've done in the past and they're saying, hey, this is behind us. We are pushing forward. We are putting what we've done behind and we are creating new content, new art, and we're gonna take over the world with it. And they really actually did. They really freaking took over the world with their art. Oh my gosh, look at this. So when Suga drops the mic, the haters who were invisible also drop their mics. They're like, y'all, we agree with you. We're with you. We're part of ARMY now. Pfft. Mic drop. Thank you to the patrons for voting for mic drop. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to vote and become a patron, I'd greatly appreciate that. The link is in the description and thank you all. Look at some of my other BTS videos and Blackpink videos and other K-pop videos that'll be linked up here and now, it's time for the best part of the video. The anticipation is killing me. That was so embarrassing. I can't believe I'm about to put that on the internet, but thanks for watching.